Welcome back, good looking. It's time for another Build Your Own Palette in collaboration with Beauty and the Frizz and Keep Beauty Real. So today we're gonna to be featuring the Galentine's palette. Um, I actually, I better go ahead and message them in the group chat to figure out exactly what it is that we'll be featuring for next month so you guys can get in on the collab if you want. You can participate on Instagram, you can participate here on YouTube, you can do whatever you want. You can snapshot some pictures and DM them to us and be like, here's my, you know, accountability that I build my own palette and this is my Valentine's Day palette. We'd love to have you. So make sure you're subscribed to our channels. I'm going to go ahead and link Kelly and Kara's videos down below. I know I took off last month, but it was a little insane last month, a little insane in the membrane. So I want to get into this look, but first I want to feature how I got the shadows that I picked out. Perfect. Let's pick out some awesome shades for our Galentine's Build Your Own palette here. I'm gonna grab, I grabbed some of my AOA Studio. I thought this was kinda fitting. Grab some Love Child. Um, some of my ColourPop from the kinda fun flirty. And then I grabbed some Glam Shop shadows and I think I want to grab maybe one special shade from Davina. That's all I have. Is, so let's go ahead and see what we come up with. Okay, here's the clean palette. No, it's not. It's not quite clean. I feel like if we pick out the special shade and then build around it, that might be, might be the most ideal. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So for Valentine's, a lot of people think, you know, pink, purple. But I'm not sure I'm really, really I don't want a really pink heavy palette. I'm thinking something like this maybe, where it's got the pink undertone, but yet it's got like a fun little twist. And this is messier. I always, whoops, I always am gravitating towards this shade. I think that's really pretty. I do kind of want one iridescent shade too. I guess there's a 10 pan, we gotta make a 10 pan, so. Hmm. Is that, that's the shade? It looks pink from my angle. Ooh, let's use this. Let's do that. That is Esmeray. Yeah, definitely want Esmeray and then Messier. Messier is kind of, it's special, but I don't feel like it's so special that you couldn't find it in another <coughs> brand. So those will be like the special shades and this will be like the highlight. And then this will be a nice special shade. So let's go ahead and add those the pan we have all this room look how much spaciousness we have from glam shop I think I want to take this one right here and add it I haven't used this one yet um, and I think this is really nice it is whatever that is I will have to list it down below Okay, is there anything else I want out of this? Hmm. I do kind of like this shade. Um, yeah. Don't know how to pronounce it either. Oh, and that's kind of pinky. Champagne-y. Yeah, maybe just do that. That one's kind of pretty. All right. <clears throat> I would like... So what about a soft duochrome like this shade or the, this is glass bowl and this right here, I don't remember what this is, but earth shine. That's kind of cute, but I feel like this is too Valentine-y pink. And then I'd have to have something like that in it. And I, I don't know. I feel like Galentine's is not about pink. It's, it's like what you love and what you look good in, that kind of stuff. Hmm. We'll come back to it. Let's see. 
And then here's Tea Garden. We could really take a turn. There's Tea Garden. I'm not seeing anything that really stands out, like maybe this, but I don't use these shades typically. This, this is, I'm okay with keeping this just strictly for duping purposes and not needing it for, oops, for a palette that I built myself. So I'm okay. Now, this is kind of cool because this right here is a duochrome. And let's see what it looks like against glass bowl. Ooh. It's a little bit more. Oh, yeah, maybe that. I think I want that. And what about this one? Ooh, this one's called Twilight. Oh, and the other one, I'll get that for you in just a moment. But Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I can handle that. And this one is Lucid. That's lucid. Oops. <clears throat> so I have this like light peachy shade, but I don't have anything darker. Oh, I might want this one, which is called Worth. And I do believe you can buy these as singles, some of them. I don't know if you can buy all of them as singles. But let me go ahead and wipe off my hand. That's a little bit duochrome almost. Hmm. That's kind of nice. It's more like my type of shade. I almost kind of want to add this, but let me see. Are they both the same? I feel like they're different. Not enough, though. Not enough. Let me see if there's something from Date Night I can pull that's also utilitarian. That's what helps me use palettes beyond um, their scope. Ooh, I'm seeing something I like already. I'm liking this one. This one kind of goes with this right here, and this is the shade Perfect. Yeah, I like it. They don't swatch that great, but I like it. This one was worth. That's perfect. I think the other one that I looked at was, it's called Vintage. Now, is there anything else? Oh, this is a duochrome. It's again, it's like, oh, it's kind of pretty. I might, since we're kind of going a little grungy, I might go ahead and substitute this in for the shade. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I got eight. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Do I want any of these? Ooh, this is kind of pretty. I don't know if it's a topper shade or not. Ooh, it's kind of a topper shade. Yeah. I think I might do that one. So what do we think so far? I kind of like it. Okay, so we've got two mattes, the rest are shimmer. Let's see if there's any other mats we can add. That would make it really nice. I feel like this one wouldn't be bad. Or this one. This one could really be nice as well. Let's take a look at this one, which is, again, I don't know the name of it. I apologize. I'll put it on the screen right here. Swatches nicely, though, folks. Or this one is Sultry. I know this one's available as a single on the Shop Miss A site. Ooh, actually, I think I might like this one. But I think this is the one that I reached for earlier, didn't I? No, it wasn't. I'm going to have to go with this one since it's lighter. All right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> so this is what we got. This is what we've got. I'm feeling pretty good about it. This is kind of the only thing that sticks out. I mean, it just doesn't make it as cohesive, but that is also kind of what makes it nice. Let me just do a rough swatch and then I'll do a nice, more elaborate swatch. Here's the 
here in just a little bit. Oh, I think these are going to be some nice shades, yeah. And you could almost take this out if you had this one. But I think I want both of them in there. Yeah, I like that. These two can deepen. Yeah, I think this is a really good Valentine's Day palette. So, I'm going to go ahead and get back upright and show you guys a look with the palette. Okay, so I put together this palette for you guys and this is my Galentine's Day palette. I hope it's a little bit more user-friendly, not so like in your face, um, pinks and things of that nature. I was kind of hoping like a little bit more, you know, a little bit more soft and subtle like a, a true Galentine. Okay, so I pick I picked up the tin shades and then I of course I featured um, one of my shadows as kind of like a highlighter so let's go ahead and take a look and see how we got this all to come together. Delium Tools 785 Taper Blending Brush and am I like super close? Yes I am. Um, this shade right here which is, I don't know but I'm going to have to put it on the screen. that in the crease it's pretty much almost skin toned so I think I'll add coke chaw let, let me just not say that. Let me just post it right here. Zoop. Add a little of that to my crease also. I'm going to keep it a little bit lower though. <laughs> Same brush. Ooh, this brush picks up so nice this product and add just a little bit more towards the end and kind of give it a flick upwards and then with the extra just add a little bit on the inner portion <clears throat> Delium Tools 773 um, Shading Brush. I don't know if I want to do Messier because I've done that in a few of them. I think I would like to try this Lucid from the AOA Studio. I don't think I've ever used that on my eyelids. So I'm going to pick some up and wet it with a setting spray because it's pretty chunky. This orange really, I don't know if it screams exactly what I wanted. Um, I'm still deciding. Wow, so this is an AOA studio. This is a dollar eyeshadow. I don't know if you can still get the, I think it's the Love Child palette. I don't know if you can still get it on Shop Miss A or not, but I will link Shop Miss A down there for you if you'd like. I originally bought them because I thought that they sold individually and they do but only some of them the more utilitarian shades so I'm gonna go in with a second round here and then spritz my brush mm. it's it's almost like a tacky consistency Look at that though. Look at that shadow. It's a really soft, easy peasy do. Just jab my finger through it. That is something that you're just gonna have to get used to with single eyeshadows is that you will forever be jabbing a fingernail in them. Doesn't matter if they're trimmed up like this or if they're nice and long. You're just gonna jab them <laughs> from time to time. That's what I found anyways. Unless you're not as klutzy as me, I guess maybe. 
Oh, and dropping them. They get dropped quite frequently. That's why knowing how to repress them is going to be key to your single shadow success. I'm convinced. There we go. It's almost a little bit of a like a greasy tacky feeling, but it's not bad. Oops. Hmm. It's cute. It smells like crayons. I've already been through this once. All right, triple seven shader brush, dipping into this shade here, which is worth, and pop that in the outer V, lower outer V though. Stamp it on first and then just kind of move it about. It's also kind of got like, um, almost like a tacky texture to it. I don't know. And then I'm just gonna kind of buff along this edge here. This doesn't really look very galantines -y. I kind of like this almost better than that, but that's okay. That's really cute. Actually, it doesn't look too terribly bad. Uh, let's run some of this. Oh, and this is perfect by the AOA Studio. I, I guess it's gonna be nothing but AOA Studio. I didn't realize that, sorry. Run it underneath my lash line. And that's really pretty also. I feel like purples always make my blue eyes look pretty nice. <clears throat> Staying with that triple seven. All right, so that looks nice. I'm just, I'm not about the lashes today. That soft green shimmer it's almost like a teal it's not bad all right and that was just the lash princess mascara yes yes um okay so just some thoughts on the glam shop this i don't know it didn't really turn out too good i don't know if it was the Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, it kind of blends a little bit better with this brush. So I think we'll be okay. It just kind of concerned me there for a minute because I can see a little bit of blending issue going on. I kind of dimmed down the peachy vibes by putting that purple over the top and I think that really helped. Lastly, Let's put a little of this duochrome goodness. You can see it. You can, I know you see what I see. You see. Nice. Oh, <clears throat> what should I use? What should I use? You know, actually, I'm going to go ahead and take a clean. Is this clean? Doesn't look it. Anyways, whatever. Let's pretend like it was clean. Esmeré, it's by Davina. I'm gonna tap into it. This is pretty flaky, flaky, flecky. So I'm gonna tap off the excess. Like glitter. <laughs> okay, then I wanna spotlight it almost. Well, I say that now. I think I've used Esmeré as a highlighter before in one of my episodes. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And you can't really see, it is ever so slightly gray casty, but just barely. I have a lot of texture, so if that bothers you, then you're gonna have to catch another episode of me some other time when I'm wearing like a nice balmy, dewy highlight. But for right now, 
this is what it is. Oh, beautiful. There is fallout from those dollar shadows. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it it's so, like, not even ethereal. I don't know what the, it's like outer space. To me, it tops and beats those Kaleidos. I've never used one of their highlighters, but I just feel like this looks so good. Like, I don't know why I would need a Kaleidos highlighter. <laughs> Okay, let's get you zoomed out and on our way. Hope you guys enjoyed that look. Um, wasn't anything spectacular or difficult. Um, and I'm so thankful for all, each and every one of you subscribers. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Build Your Own Palette. I will be featuring other duping the vibe palettes they're coming up bear with me as i kind of start to situate and kind of create my roster curriculum for my channel's upcoming episodes thanks so much for watching guys if you haven't already subscribe down below can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye